and introduce yourself. My name is Fadili. My name is Ashley. First sculpture here. Well, I thought I would uh, put the first sculpture. It looks so realistic and it just looks good. And I, I, I thought like he, he put like his, he put effort to making it like, I thought like a little gray. Unmute yourselves and tell me what you thought about this one. Oh, well, I thought about this one. I guess it's just uh, like water and like there, there was bubbling in the water. Uh, and the guy or girl who made this, like, it looks so, like, good. I I like the water and stuff like that. And also, I like swimming. That's why I like it so much. So, so did you like the colors? I did like the colors, uh, yeah. The woman, uh, dancing in the water, it, was, it looked great. Yeah. What I liked about this one was... Oh, so it's like at the at the time, like it would just used to be normal white man or or woman like that. But this artist, uh, he changed it up and put a black man, and it just looks so good. Yeah, I I just like it when like he changed it up, like he he like he, all the time they always have like picture of like white people like like that. But he wanted to change it up and put a like, black people. How big was that? It it was as, it was tall like, I like it was like six of me like combined or like it was like a ladder. It might take it might take him like a long time to do that one. Yeah, I liked it because it was like cartoonish, like you know, uh, like like not real, and I just like like nonfiction. Uh, what's the difference? Like, I just like that. Yeah. I just like it when like there was like. Almost like a fight, like it was kind of like it was, it was funny for something. It's like drama, yeah. Okay, the, the reason I like that one is because like I like it when it, like you kind of look like it kind of look like somebody I know, and also also it looked cool and stuff like that. Yeah, I like about that one because it was in the African section. It was in the African section, and like. Like it, it just look, look it looks so realistic up about the like the face, uh, like it just kind of looks real. It reminds me of someone I know. Yeah, it looks it looks great. I remember me as somebody I know. Definitely. It looks like somebody you know in real life. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Keep keep it on. I'll keep it on. Tell me about this one next. I like that one because I, I like it like when there was a war and stuff like that. And I also like it when, when like that it's so realistic and stuff like that. Mm. That might happen. This is from our African section, right? Yeah, it yes. was from our African section. <laughs> so you've got some colonial influences here. Yeah, it's, it's sad, but it's powerful. It is powerful. And Ashley, can you tell me what you liked from the same section? Uh, I like that one from the, it, it was the bottom left one. I like that one because like it was just like uh some some some, some guys like in the army trying to protect their country uh, and like I, I like I support that a lot. And you you saw the, the I think one of them was a portrayal of Patrice Lumumba, right? Oh yeah, Patrice Lumumba. I like about this one because it looks so realistic. I know it. I know that took like months to finish, maybe even years, because he put like a lot of effort finishing that. You see in the still life. I see like, I see like those like, those red. Uh, I forgot the name of it. They're called crayfish. Those red crayfish, and also. You see olives. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean oysters. Oh yeah, those are oysters. Yeah. They're pretty good. Oh, what I liked about that city, I think it was called Verma. Venice? Venice, yeah, it was called Venice. And it's just, uh, like, if there is water, it's like canals, you can just go like under the bridge. It's like a way of traveling in Italy. And it legit just looks so great. And what I know about about this uh, uh, artist, uh, artist um, to this day, it's it's still like that. Kadili, what did you like? 
I like this one because like it's under the like you you can like walk over the bridge every time like every every time like you you wanna like if you wanna like move around the city you gotta go by water right yeah, yeah. or or <clears throat> as you have to pay for the boat. Do you remember the name of the boat? Cornell. Got a gondola. Oh. Gondola. 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 Being outside. Uh, what I like about the outside one, like, it, it was like a big head and like the face it just looks so real. Like I couldn't, like I, I was just trying to see how how many years it took them to like make a big, uh. Uh, out, out, out of that, like it took me, it must have taken me years. I mean, he tried to make it so realistic, so like, I like it kind of look like somebody I know, but it kind of, but like, it kind of looks so realistic, like the nose and the ears, yeah. Wow. The reason I like this because you kind of look, it look like you are going for like for like a long journey and like. I mean, like you can't look like he's in the middle of the desert. Yeah, the desert. Like, like, like you're like, like you're not like. There's like alone in the <coughs> desert. Uh, and I like, I like uh, how the road is. Like kind of like like a deserty road, like a sand. Yeah, I like that. And it doesn't look like there's much going on, right? Yeah. There's no buildings. It's just like a simple, beautiful, art. Yeah, I agree with you. What about this one? Ooh, that one. Uh, I like that one because, uh, like, it wouldn't have taken like a uh, long. Uh, the artist would have like uh, did it like in his mind because the horse, it, like, it was hard for the for, for the horse to uh, like keep in place. So the artist would like like remember it just so, like, so he, so he can paint it. He or she can paint it. Yeah. So there's no camera. There's no camera, and at that time there was no camera, no photos like that. So he had, he or she had to use it in their mind. But Dealey, what do you think? I like this one because I, I know they pay like a lot of money to do this these paintings, but like um, I'm not from facts. Like like the artist had to try like hard. Like you have to have a good memory. Yeah, good memory. Yeah, yeah, he had to be able to think about that horse and the guy's outfit. And then put it in his head and paint it, right? Yeah. yeah. Good point. I like this one because in the, it's new and the colors are just like like simple, like gray, black, and some kind of some some yellow in there. Like, and you, I can see that like it matches for Dilly's uh, jacket. I can see that like, it kind of matches it. The reason I like this one is because like. It's because it's new and like it's not at all like the all the painting, not all the painting these days. But I like it because like because like it kind of like it looked like he he didn't even try to draw. It, it looked like he just draw an acid and then he just he, he just crying like just like put water on it, just start like put, taking the thing. Out. That's the reason I like it. Yeah, it's like simple. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah, I think that I think it's very cool. Entrance. The reason I like this one is because it's so colorful and like if you want to walk like with it on w when you see it, it's like give you a wonderful feeling. Yeah, I like about that one because as soon as you get like in the building, uh, almost uh, if, you, if you get in the building, like the first thing you see is it's probably going to be that because it's so huge. Like the artist uh, had uh, a lot of time to do this uh, and it just looks so good and like colorful. All right. So uh, I wanted to say, I wanted to say thank you to Tony, Father Jim, and Liz for letting us go to this, for, for letting us for letting us go to the art art museum. And like, uh, if if that would have happened, like it would it just be like, like a day at home. Like so, I appreciate it that much. I just want to say thank you to everybody. That's all. And what are your names, gals? My name is Alexa. Anna. So Alexa and Anna came with us to the museum. And now we're going to go through some of the pieces and they can tell us about it. Um, it was nice. It reminded me a lot of, um, it was just uh, like an African, like a person, it kind of was like an African person. Like, 
do you think that they put some details into like the face? Oh yeah. Yeah, the cheekbones. The cheekbones. And the nose the and stuff. And the nose. Yeah. Right? It looks very realistic. Yeah. Like what did you think of this kind of art? Oh. Uh it reminded me a lot of slavery and uh, yeah. That didn't make you feel bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it did. did. It did. Yeah, it did. Yes. And what about like some of this art? Oh, the same thing. The way they're killing people. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's what they had like the war thing that was going on. And like when wait when like a like country in, in Europe like was like is living in Africa like yeah that's so what it reminds you of like European colonialism right yeah that was really nice and I really like the art on it it's like I've seen I've seen like good good statues like that like similar cuts like statues before like yeah that. It's cool. It's so you like the sculpture, right? Yeah, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it so much. It was like one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. okay, do you remember what this is called? When it's pictures <coughs> of like food? Still something? Still? Still, still life. Oh, still life. Yeah, that's great. And does it look like a real picture to you? What do you think? Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> no. So, do you, what do you think of the details in it? Oh, I see food, like... It, um, the food looks good. It looks really nice. And tasty. Yeah. And tasty. I think it's tasty. What did you think of this giant head? Oh. That one, that that one. Uh, when I first saw it, I I questioned it a lot, but it was good. In the front, it was good, but in the back, it was like kind of like, it was like, like flat and like that. Mm. Like, it. So you really only like it from one perspective, right? The front. Um. Oh, that's Mary. That's Mary, the mother of Jesus. I liked it. It was a, it was a very good painting. Yes, yeah, so I really that's painting. We have like it's like it's not the first time we have seen it. We seen it all the time at church. Mm -hmm. So you see pictures of Mary at all the time at church, right? Mm -hmm. But this was like a fancy painting, right? Yeah. So this was not something that they reproduced. Somebody painted this by hand. Pretty impressive. Mhm. Mm really is. Mhm. Mm really impressive. It was impressive how they had to like remember how the people look like without like um without like them standing with their like still or and like um because they didn't they didn't have like camera like then so yeah and it's like it took like they couldn't they couldn't stay there for long the people in the horse so they just had to like imagine it in their head. It was, it was, it was colorful and modern, like, yeah, it was really nice, like, I love it so much, it was like, one of my, um, second, I think it's their favorite. Mm, I like that. <laughs> Alright, so of your favorite things in the museum yesterday, what was your, what was your favorite one or two things, each of you? Oh. I like the horse in the in the top man. That, that was the thing. my um. I like the one that like that was the statue downstairs and the one that was like the African face and um the Mary picture like the. And the picture of the okay, very good. Yes. Um. I wanna thank. I wanna thank Liz, and I wanna thank Tony for for bringing us there for an awesome day. And and I also want to thank Father Jim for like for for keeping us close, you know. Yeah. Yes. Um, I want to thank Father Jim, and I want to thank Liz, and I want to thank Tony, 
And uh, we want to say thank you for helping us learn new things. Uh, Saturday school, church, and um, we went to the museum and learned about a lot of things we didn't know about. And it was really fun. We, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you.